Good morning. Let me take that off. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Shannon Stefanacci. I'm with Pick and Booth Vintage down in sunny Southwest Florida. Uh, today, we're a little bit on the cooler side. I think we're in the 60s. Yesterday, we had some tornadoes hit nearby and um, a lot of devastation. Thankfully, the store was okay. My house was okay. But um, there were some other folks that are local that lost their home and everything they have. So it's very sad. But um, on a more positive note, today we're going to have some fun. We are going to be using this transfer. And we are going to be dressing up a beautiful vanity or a buffet that is painted in this like a, a light olive green. But before we do that, last week or two weeks ago, I was on and I did the rose chintz on a vanity. And um, I want to show you how it turned out. I couldn't, I wanted to wait the two weeks to take the paper inlays off, the paint inlays, but they just don't, you shouldn't leave them on that long because they just settle into the paint and they're almost impossible to get off. You want to make sure when you're using the paint inlays that you don't leave them too long. Trust me, I've made the mistake one time. Good morning, hey Kim, thanks for joining me. Yay! Okay, so let me just show you what the vanity looked like first. I'm gonna go to this right here. So this is what the vanity looked like two weeks ago when I came on. It was hot pink, I think it's perfect for a little girl. And in the picture you can say there's some the rose chintz inlay. So then as we're going, there's a close up, that was it. And then this is how it ended up looking. So this is what, after you put, hey Joanne, glad you're joining me again, thank you. Um, this is what it looks like after you have the inlays on. Now they're drying, the paint is actually going into the, the hot pink paint that I put on there, it's becoming one. So you, you don't wanna leave these on too long and if I was to wait the two weeks, it would have been a disaster. So let me just show you what it looks like now. Ta-da! So this is the after. And I'll show it close up too. I just absolutely love it. So let me just tell you what I did. And then we're going to move on to the buffet. Real quick, I took, I removed the paper from the back of the paint inlays. And I gave it a light distressing just because I wanted it to look old after I did that, now to seal it. Everybody seems to have a little bit of difficulty when we're talking about the sealers for this. Let me split the screen so you guys can see me too. Okay, so, oops. Everybody wants to know like, how do you seal this without the paint inlay um, smearing? So the trick of it is, is when you get the paint inlays off and it is, they dry, they're dried, take a spray bottle and mix half water and half sealer. It doesn't matter what sealer you use, if it's clear coat, what brand, just mix them up and then just give it a light spray over the paint inlay. And, oh, thanks, I'm glad you like it. Um, give it a, a nice light coat of the water, clear coat, let it dry, and then after it dry, you can go ahead and brush on wax, you can brush on more clear coat, whatever you wanna do, but don't skip that step because if you do skip that step, you'll end up smearing your inlays. And we don't want that to happen because they're too pretty. All right, so let's get to today's project. Let me go back to Solo. Um, now, I have a buffet behind me and it's a little different because it's not standing up. I actually have it leaning back on a lift because when I lay these out, I want, I want it to, it's just easier if you lay it out when it's flat. And I don't, I'm not going to do it on the ground. I have this little furniture hydraulic lift that I'll show you in just a second. That works fabulously. It saves your back, saves your knees. Oops. My daughter's calling me from college. She's going to have to wait a second. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Okay, so let me take you to that view. All right, so here it is. This is the buffet. It's a gorgeous green olive color. And let me move some of these around. We are going to use the transfer. Um, now, I'm really not the best at saying these. It's the flora parentheses. I, I know I'm miss saying that, but somebody will correct me. It, whatever it is, it's beautiful. I have it taped right here. Let me get it down. See how beautiful this one is? I just love, they're kind of like apricot, soft pinkish roses. 
and it's just so subtle it's gonna look beautiful on this green buffet so without any further ado let's get started um, today we're gonna put the transfers on I'm gonna show you how you can lay them out plan it out apply them then we're gonna seal them then let me show you this real quick if we have time and if I feel we need it I have pre-made a bunch of the rose mold we can stick these on I gave it one simple coat just because when you put it on you don't want to paint where it's on the paint I'm gonna decorate these a little bit more but that's if we have enough time and that's if I decide that we want to add these to it well um, I'm always one for trying something new but we're just gonna go and see and play and I'll appreciate your input so stick around and you can help me decide that's cold okay so first of all the transfers are so fun they're very versatile you can cut them move them put them wherever you want this one comes in four pages and we have some different roses we have a bunch of stems and leaves, and then we also have a saying right here. So we're gonna kind of cut this apart, lay it out, and decide where we're gonna put all this stuff. So first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one. I love this one, it's got the, the open rose, and then it has some of the buds starting to open and one that's not quite open yet. So let's go ahead and cut this. They are numbered, so you can plan it out, but we're not gonna pay attention to that just yet. Oops. So I'm thinking this one is gonna go over here on this side. Let me just scooch this over just a tad. You're not gonna be able to see, unfortunately see the whole piece at once, but I wanted to do it this way so you can see up close how it is trans it's how it's coming and how we put them on and as close as I can get. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch that over a little bit more again. Now these words here, we're gonna use, and I think, so this part of the buffet kind of sticks out. It's like serpentine. This part is flat, so I think it'd be better to put it down here. So let me cut this out and let's put it down here. And maybe we won't use the words, maybe we will, but we're just gonna lay it out for right now. I've already put a, a little dot there. I measured earlier where the center is, so I know. Because I'm, I'm pretty big at putting something on and then it's <laughs> not quite straight and I have to fix it. So we'll cut this out and put it here. These do overlap, so I'm just gonna put it like that for now. So there's the words. Now I have these other flowers to use. And I think I'm gonna put the big blossom, this big one, over here on this side. So let's scooch this over real quick. Ta-da! Grab my scissors. And maybe put that one right here. And I'm gonna go up a little higher because these do have gorgeous stems with leaves so we're going to put on as much as we can with this and then i have this one little flower left over which um let's see uh, maybe we'll put it up there yeah and it, because there's the little buds you can you know it goes upwards if i wanted to actually turn the flower sideways I could just simply cut the buds off and that way you don't see them and the flower could go anyway. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start rubbing them on and then afterwards we'll decide how much stem we want to put on with each of these. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and let's start with the words because you know what, I think the words really fit the piece, they look good and of course, here is the magic tool that you get when you order or you get a transfer. So let's start with the left one. And all you do is simply pull the paper backing off. And then you kind of just, I'm looking at where I put, that's the center. 
And I'm going to use the top of my edge here to go to the edge here so I make sure that I get it on super straight. Put my eyes on. All right, let's. Okay, so once I get it where I want to put it, I just simply give it a nice rub. And this was just painted with some chalk paint. Um, make sure when you're putting transfers on that your chalk paint is dry. If it's not dry, it might pull the paint up and your transfer will be stuck to the paint and you won't be able to use it. Okay, so just give it a nice rub. What I like to do is I like to grab one little section, starting at this side, and I pick it up and I, I rub as I'm picking up so it kind of releases the transfer. It turns translucent and then when it's translucent, you know that it is on your piece. Has anybody ever used this transfer before? I'm just curious, if you have, what, what did you put it on? Did you put it in like a big window? I've seen where people have put some of these transfers on windows and they hang it actually by a window and the sun comes through and it's just gorgeous. <laughs> My arms are a little bit tired from the gym this morning. It was upper body day and our gym leader almost, almost killed us, I want to say, in, in jest, not, not literally, but... Okay, so as I'm picking up, I'm noticing that it's all coming off beautifully. If I pick it up and some of it's still stuck, all I need to do is push it back down, give it another rub, and get a release. looking good all right so I do have those rose molds already pre-made I did that just because just to save time I made them this morning and I stuck them in the freezer and then that way I just pulled them out so they'll be ready to go if we decide to use them I'm one of those that like layers it just, I think it just adds to a piece. Not for everything, but for most. Okay, we're getting closer. I think it's easier when you're doing a big flower rather than the individual little letters. All right, there we go. So we have half of that done. Okay, now let's do the other side. Again, because I chose to use the line here, I'm just gonna line it up on the edge of the vanity, uh, vanity, the buffet. And because it's see-through, I can see and measure and line it up exactly where it needs to go. Give it a nice rub down. Now when these come and you put them on your furniture, they, they're a little bit, um, I want to say more graphite than black, than what they look like when you first take them off the paper. But they do have an outline of, I want to say like a really light white gray. So it helps dis distinguish the letters and show the letters off. Okay, so this one is releasing nicely. I wish I could see my comments they are kind of far away in just a second. I will run up there and kind of look at them. What I need to do is actually have somebody 
here with me that can help me with the comments. Can't forget these little whoop de doos These are fun. Okay, I'm still thinking at my flowers. As I'm sitting here rubbing, I am just trying to decide if I have this the right way. I'm not sure. We're going to look at it again. Because the one on the, on the left is big and full, and the one on the right is not as quite as big and full because it only has the buds. So I'm going to have to think about that. I might just want to add this one to it. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I know it's not supposed to be totally balanced, but I like it when it's, um, I, I mean, I don't want it to be symmetrical, but I want it to be balanced, I guess that's the better way. So it's pleasing to the eyes. And if you guys are coming on a little bit later, when, I, when we first came on, we were talking about the vanity that we were working on two weeks ago when I was on, uh, with the chintz paint in the, the rose, chintz paint inlay. I'll show you some more pictures of it at the end. I already showed them, but I know you guys, if you missed it, you're going to want to see the vanity, how beautiful it came out with the paint inlays. I, could, I wanted to save it for today, but unfortunately, if you let those paper inlays or the paint inlays stay on too long, they're really hard to get off because the paper actually starts to dry into the paint too not just the paint itself. Okay, we're getting closer here. But I do want to make sure I get every last letter, comma. All right, so close. Three more letters. <laughs> there we go, ta-da! So here, we have the words that came with this transfer. So now we're going to kind of see. This is big, beautiful. This one is not as big. Um, maybe we'll put them this way. Maybe I'll change the size. What do you think if I put them this way and then maybe add this one over here? Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Let me look at the comments. Let me see if anybody has anything to add. What do you think? Let's see. We have, um, oh, the beeping. I'm so sorry. That is, <laughs> of course, it's my, um, my fire alarm. I got here today, and as I was setting up to do this, all of a sudden, it's beeping, and it's really high, and I'm going to address it after the live. I sincerely apologize, but you know what? Sometimes... <laughs> Things happen and there's nothing I can do about it just yet. <laughs> so just ignore the beep. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go with the big full one on the right side. And now there is a little bit of a lip here, a raised. So I'm just going to be very careful. I'm going to make sure I rub it in on, and go on each side because I do want to cover that. And I do have handles for it. <sighs> Sorry about the beep. Oh. Um, I wish I had music playing in the background so we didn't have to hear it, but copyright issues, I'm not allowed to. All right, so let's take the backing off and let's see. Now look how beautiful, it's, it's kind of muted, but these colors look absolutely stunning, I think, with this color paint. So I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to push in between the two lips first just to get it... I want to make sure I get on both sides of the slip. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice rub there. Too bad we weren't in college. We could say every time we heard the beep, we could take a drink. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, every time we hear the beep, we can... Um, I don't know. We'll just have to ignore it. Okay, so I have this down. I push this down. And I can tell that it's on because it's translucent. So now I'm going to rub it around the top of the, the ray section and push it on this side. 
and that should give me the line over over that little raised section. All right, so I'm gonna step to the side here, and I'm gonna start rubbing this the big flowers on here. I cannot wait to see what it looks like when I pull this off. Okay, so I have a little piece here that is going over the lip too, so I'm gonna raise, run my right here on the raise section, and I'm gonna start to lift and see if it's, there we go. Remember, as you're lifting, if it's not releasing, you just put it down and give it another rub. Okay, let's see. So, see how nicely it went over the lip? That's because we did that section first. Whenever there's something in the way, always focus on that part first. I have one little leaf that's on the side of this lip here, so I'm gonna address that. And now I'm gonna do the rest of this transfer. And I wanna be careful, I don't want this little guy here. And when I cut him out, I didn't notice him, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut him out. I will save him for something else. How is it coming? I know one time I did this on a, a blue buffet and I used the, a, the different, which one did I use? Um, I used the one with all the, the, uh, the redute. I know I say it, redute, redute, I say it wrong. Um, and they just stressed the flowers and it was beautiful. Just a little bit, it just made the flowers on the transfer look worn. I don't think I'm gonna do it to this one, but keep that in mind. You can also lightly distress these transfers and it just gives them a whole nother look. All right, almost. Just got this flower down here. Oops, one little corner. See this right here? It didn't stick, so all I do is line it back up and rub, and voila, there it is. Wow, oh, gorgeous, love the colors, and this transfer just looks beautiful on this color of paint. All right, I see somebody has written a lot. I'm gonna go take a peek at it. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Anyone heard of the writer's block? Oh yes, writer's block. That's crafting block, uh, yes. If I read that correctly, absolutely. Crafting block happens. And you try to get back into another project and it's you just try and it just doesn't turn out right or you just can't get motivated. All right, so now we have this one here and I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm wondering if I need to add this down here. We'll see once I get this one on. <clears throat> so we're gonna peel the backing and just basically do the same thing we just did on the other side. Now, if you have a friend or you know somebody that has been wanting to try the transfers but a little unsure on how to use them, make sure you share this video with them. All right, so again, I have the raised area here, so I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to rub it along the top side of that line and the other side. I want to give it a nice rub because I want to make sure that that is going to be on my piece. That's not going to move. My transfer is going to be stuck right between there. Okay, I know it's on because it's translucent. So now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna rub it over the top part of the 
frame of this drawer. Oops. And now I'm going to rub the rest. Some people will tape them down depending how big it is, how big the area. This, these are just small ones, so I'm not taping them down. They don't seem to move around a lot. Normally when I do these, I do this with the dresser up, but today I have it laying down on my little lift, so it's easier for you all to see and for me to work. All right, let's see, are you coming off? Yep, so as I'm lifting, it's releasing and I'm rubbing. After we get this on, I'm gonna show you and tell you a little bit how to seal or at least the way that is that is works for me and what I've learned. Okay, let's see, so far so good. Ooh, look at that, what do you think? Okay, so now we just have to go to the bottom part of this transfer, make sure that all transferred on well, yep. After we do this part, there are some stems and leaves that we might add on. We'll just have to look at it. Let's take these on. we can get in the picture um, maybe if I take me out we'll get more so let me just get me out of the picture you don't need to see me you need to see the project let's see if that'll work not really um, so this is what this side looks like beautiful and we have this little saying here and then the other side and um let's see Gosh, it looks so pretty. I don't want, sometimes I get a little nervous <laughs> if I add too much because I don't want to ruin it. Um, this one here, notice it's, it's, to me it looks like it's whole totally different colors in this one, so I don't really want to put this one on there. And I don't know why that looks so different to me. Maybe it's because it still has the backing on. Let me see what it looks like without the backing. Yeah, see, it just looks so different. I'm not going to put that one on just yet. If anything, what I'll do is I'll just get another whole transfer and just maybe cut out a different flower. All right. What we're going to do real quick, though, is we are going to add finish the stems because I think the stems need to go down. What do you guys think? So this one, finish the stem here. And then on this one, finish the stems down here. What do you think? All right, let me grab these stems. And there's some comments coming through. Um, I love that you all are giving each other advice. It just shows what a great community crafters and painters are. All right, and let's see. I'm going to put, that one goes there. And then this one goes here. And you can tell that this one goes here because they, the, it lines up. So, and I'll probably just stop right here. I'm not gonna go all the way down, so I'll just keep it to right there. So I'll cut it out. I'm still cutting the whole thing out, and then I'll just measure. I would hate to make a mistake and cut it a little short. <laughs> so. I'm gonna make sure I'm putting it on the right one. That was one.
Okay, so I put that on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut straight across here. I didn't want to cut it prematurely because I wanted to see how it was gonna angle it. So I'll put this back on the paper backing. You always wanna keep it, whatever part you're not using, keep it on the paper so it doesn't stick to something that it shouldn't be sticking to. All right, let's rub these leaves on. I'll start rubbing and lifting at the same time. Put my glasses on. Missed a little piece there, so I just put it down, re rub. So that fills it up, it adds to it, and it, it doesn't make it where it's all, oh, my daughter's calling from college again, oops. Um, it just kind of sets it free. It's just free flowing and it looks natural, it looks beautiful. Okay, so this side I'm happy with, we're gonna leave it just as it is. And so now we're gonna get, let's go back to the other side, this side. All right, so. Maybe I'm thinking that if we use some of these, like this one here with a lot of the leaves, it'll kind of fill it in and it'll look good. So let me cut this one out and then we'll give it some, a placement. And there is a big handle here. It's a circle. So you won't see part of it because of the handle, but I want some more of the leaves to flare out so it'll be kind of look like flowy so this is beautiful I love this here can you see the um the thorns it's got such detail these transfers are just simply amazing so I'm carrying continuing down with the stem this is where my handle goes and then those leaves are going to free flow around all right where did I put my tool there it is. All right, so let's rub this on. I do want to go ahead and cut out this extra piece here because I don't want it to accidentally stick. And I want to save it because I might need it for something else. So put on the paper backing, there we go. you all but I'm constantly <laughs> I feel like I'm the messiest crafter I always have a new pile of stuff and I just always feel like my area that I, my work area is never neat <laughs> even though I try I say this time I'm gonna be so neat <laughs> all right let me get down here and there we go oh I love it okay so here we go. Let me remove all this. What I'll do at the end is I'll take my camera off the stand and I want you to be able to see the whole thing all at the same time. All right. Now, oh, I really love this. I think that if I add anything up here, it might be too much. I think I love the simplicity of it. I do though want to show you really quick these roses. These I froze. I made them this morning and I froze them. And I mixed the paint to look very, very similar. Um, I do really like these, but I just don't know if it's gonna look good on here. So they're thought out and they're still, look, they're still bendable. So if you ever have to make a lot of these, 
start making them, throw them in the freezer, and they're good until you need them. So like I could put one here. Ooh, I do like that. Ooh. <laughs> and um, I have a maybe a leaf I could put over here. I don't know, gosh. And then I think that would look too awkward because it's the exact same rows. But I do have this one. And maybe put it off to the side with a couple leaves. What do you guys think? Is that too much? Because these are raised in 3D and the transfers are flat. Oh boy. I do really like them. Now I only painted the base color of these because I wanted to make sure I got the edges. All the detail, I have some stuff that I was going to dust it with to make sure that it was the same color. So those reds and stuff. And the hot pinks I was going to put in there. But I just don't know if I should do those. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? That's with them. I know it's kind of hard because I don't have the full screen. Um, I need it to be taller. Or without. Let me take these off. And I can save these for another project. Because I can just stick them back in the freezer. Or without. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Decisions. I'm gonna look at the comments. Does anyone have, what do they think? Um, for the knobs, have you? the texture's great. Fab roses and, yes. Okay, thank you, Mary, for, yeah. I like without. Okay, thanks, Lori. So I'm gonna leave it without. So now what we're gonna do, though, is I do wanna just talk to you about sealing your transfers because I know there's a lot of questions on these. Do I need to seal them? How do I seal them? First of all, the first thing I do is after I put them on, I go ahead and I rub to make sure that they are on and there's nothing sticking out. So I give it a nice, nice rub, not too hard. I don't want to scratch it off, but yeah, just like this, making sure that I have every piece with a nice rub. Look how beautiful this one is. Oh. I just love the muted colors. Okay, once you give it a nice rub down, then you simply just apply your clear coat or your wax. So what do I, I have today is I have, I'm gonna split the screen again so you can see me. There we go. Did I do that right? Yep. So I just put some clear coat in a little dish and I have this little blue sponge. It's damp. You always want, <laughs> whoopsies. You always want to start with a damp or a wet rag sponge because it is water based. You just want it to be even. Just give it a little bit of wet. And then you simply take your apparatus. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge brush. I like this. Dip it in, and then you just go over it lightly. This dries clear, but it will make sure that the transfer stays on. The clear coat I'm using is satin, so it'll dry to a nice light sheen. <clears throat> you do want to be careful if you get any of the clear coat that puddles up a little bit. Sometimes it can yellow if it's too thick, so you make sure you get all those little puddles off. There you go. And then when this dries, your transfer is on, it's safe, it's secure. And it will last for a very long time. Let me keep this in mind, just because you're sealing it doesn't mean that you can't add to it. So if I decided to want to add a few more flowers or roses to it, I can go ahead and do that right on top of the top coat because the top coat is water-based and it'll stick right to it. All right, so let's continue sealing the rest of this. Just a nice light coat. Depending on the directions of the brand of sealer you use, they always, from whatever I've used, the ones I've used has always been a thin coat like two to three coats. 
Sometimes though with the transfers, I'll just give it one coat. But it's, if it's the top of a piece where it gets high use, I'll put on the more thin coats. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do this one over here. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the vanity from last week, what how it turned out. And then I'm gonna take the camera back and I'm gonna show you big, how big the whole piece in the camera at the same time. <laughs> Oops. Sometimes it's just really hard to get the best angle for you guys, but I, I, because if you try to get a whole big piece of furniture in the shot, you lose close up. And then when you have close up, you lose the whole piece. So I will go back and I will do the legs, but I'm going to, not on camera, there's no need to do that and bore y'all with the, the legs. And not that the fire alarm beep was enough. Now we have the phone ringing. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna ignore the, my little answer machine that's picking up in the background. Okay, there we go. So there is our piece. We have put the transfer on, we sealed it. We played around with the molds. They're just not gonna work on this piece. Um, let me show you what the rose chintz looks like from last week. Look, this is what it started. It was just hot pink and it was bright. Then we added the rose chintz paint inlays. And this is what it was looking like when it was drying. However, it, um, you can't leave the paint inlay papers on too long or they stick to the paint. So you, two weeks would have been too long, but here's the final result. I removed the paper. I distressed the paint inlays just a bit in the piece. And then I used some dark wax and voila, this is the finished piece. What do you guys think? Ah, I just love it. And I'm hoping, originally when I was painting this, it was hot pink for a little girl but this could go for anybody. So, um, while this picture is on the screen, I am going to rearrange the camera to get a better view of the buffet. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I hope you don't get seasick looking at it, but here we go, ta-da. Okay, so we've got to go the other way. Here we go. What do you think? Once the handles get on, do you like it? I really, really love the way the colors are subtle on that color paint that I used. Okay, I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy. Whew. All right. <laughs> um, Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the use of the transfers, how to seal it, and that you saw how we completed our project from two weeks ago with the paint inlays. I will be back again. I am always going to be the first and third Monday at noon Eastern or 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So um, I will put finished pictures once I get the handles on and I put the clear coat on the rest of this piece. I'll put them up so you can see them. And um, if you want to catch it on the replay, you can always come back here. Or you can check out my YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel with all my projects. And um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks again for joining me. Take care.